Hello guys and welcome to a new video of F1 Highlights. Today we'll tell you how Mercedes is dealing with their car concept for the future. So without further ado, let's get started. George Russell believes his Mercedes team could not have asked for a better result at the weekend's Canadian Grand Prix after scoring fourth place finish behind teammate Lewis Hamilton in third. But the British driver was still concerned by his team's gap in pace to Red Bull and Ferrari. Russell failed to get a final lap in qualifying on Saturday after making the surprise decision to switch the slick tires on a wet track, leaving him starting the race in 8th. But the Briton quickly made his way through the field and was already in 5th by lap 5. And after Fernando Alonso came into the pits on lap 27, Russell moved up into 4th place where he could finish the race, maintaining his record of being the only driver to finish every race in the points and the top 5 this season. And Russell praised the race pace of his Mercedes team, but admitted his surprise at not facing an attack from Ferrari's Charles Leclerc in the closing stages of the race. As a team, we couldn't have scored a better result, admitted Russell. We definitely had faith we would have been able to finish ahead of the Haas and the Alpines. It was just Leclerc and Checo that we were a bit concerned about. And to be honest, I'm quite surprised by their lack of progress, especially at the end once the safety car came out, and our race pace was definitely the closest it's been to the front runners all season, so we'll take the positives, but the inherent performance is still far from where we want it. Although Mercedes had a better race pace in Canada than many analysts had predicted, Toto Wolff and his followers are not happy with the W13 yet. The diva of Lewis Hamilton and George Russell only works on certain tracks, and almost no setup change has the desired effect. That is why Mercedes is now looking at its competitors. How will Mercedes do that in the next question? Will it continue with this concept or will it do something else in 2023? Looking forward to the future, we have to develop the car within a different window. We were very low to the ground and that clearly doesn't work. We already have a direction that we want to develop in terms of development. The Austrian has to admit that Mercedes missed the mark a bit in 2022. We've not done well in many different areas, but it is our problem and we have to solve it. At the front of the field, Red Bull Racing and Ferrari drive a lot faster than the rest. In Azerbaijan, the RB18 and the F175 were one second per lap faster than the third team, Mercedes. In Canada, the German team already tried to copy a floor design from Red Bull and Ferrari, but this also did not work. To still be able to compete for victories and perhaps the title, Mercedes is now looking at the complete concept of Red Bull Racing. The underside of the car is especially interesting for them, as Max Verstappen's team are the only ones to drive with a rake in Canada. This means that the rear of the car is higher than the front, something that seemed almost impossible at the start of the season because most of the downforce comes from the underside of the car. Every team thought the car should therefore be as close to the ground as possible, including Mercedes. Toto Wolff says that he looked very interested in the rake of Red Bull, and that Mercedes may want to take over this concept. What I find interesting is that if you look at the right height of the cars, Red Bull is completely different from the rest. They have a rake again, while our cars are completely flat on the ground. If you look at the stopwatch, you can see which concept is the best, ends Wolf. Will this be the end of the concept they have now and copy Red Bull? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button to not miss any Formula 1 news.